I'm wondering if Eric, being such a big Edwardian fan, uh, owns a pair of Balmoral style boots and how he likes them, or for that matter, Chelsea boots or Chuckas. So I figure we can we can talk briefly about those three, sure. um, not always understood boot types. Um, I do not own a pair of Balmorals technically. I own very similar brogued Victorian walking boots. Um, but let's go over what these are. Uh, the Bal they're they're older than you think, especially Chuckas. I was or, or um, um, Chelsea boots. Balmorals uh, are basically a. Victorian walking boot, which means it comes up the ankle a bit, which were literally invented for um, Prince Albert for use on the Balmoral estate. He was an active guy and he liked to go hiking, uh, but uh, he wanted something that would be waterproof against the mud uh, on the estate and on the grounds when he went hunting. So um, a, a shoemaker invented for him what became known as the Balmoral boot. It was basically a Victorian walking boot where the bottom part of the shoe, I almost imagine like a flat Oxford shoe. Like is, a wingtip. Like a wingtip is all one solid piece of leather and has a line of stitching where that meets the ankle portion. Now the ankle portion would be either a different leather or even sometimes a different material like a, like a wool or a duck or something. But the bottom was a heavily waxed, waterproofed, solid piece of leather. They're basically Victorian duck boots but they look about a million times better than duck boots. <laughs> I would hope. But they were they were meant for trekking through the moors and such to keep your feet dry. He loved them, and of course, this is Albert we're talking about, so they took off and became a thing. Um, very, very traditional. They come in a lot of different varieties nowadays. They're very, um, uh, you know, they fit with the foggy scene and the, and the sharp men's dress scene very yeah. much. Um, I think they look great with a kilt. Um, so I would absolutely recommend getting a pair if you got the scratch. Um, I do not personally care for the ones that are multicolored for that purpose, but that's a With whole a other kilt. topic. With a kilt. Correct. With Correct. a kilt. Yeah. Um, the next boot is the Chelsea boot, which gets its name from the Chelsea area of London, which is a name it got in uh, uh, the 1960s uh, because the, uh, the artsy scene there adopted the boot. That actually is also a Victorian boot. It goes back to about the 1850s when somebody got the idea of making an easy slip-on, slip-off boot using elasticized fabric, using rubber, that new, newfangled invention, rubber, that they had um, to make the side vents. And they were sold to both men and women. Queen Victoria owned a pair of Chelsea's. Okay. Weird, right? Um, I personally do not like those uh, with a kilt because to me, they, they, they're emblematic of the 60s. And like the mod scene and very crisp skinny suits and stuff like that. I also wind up thinking of Clockwork Orange because he, the character, the main character in them is in that movie is wearing Chelsea boots. It can I point one one other thing out as well? Sure. <clears throat> I don't like them. Now the Balmorals tie. Correct. Chelsea boots do not. They're slip-ons, correct. correct? They're slip-ons. So in the same way that cowboy boots are pull-on boots uh, and gap at the top, yep. Chelsea boots gap at the top. That may be part of That's your why aversion. I think that is it. They just have a very modern not, feel. Not feel to it. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, so I so vote up for Balmorals, vote down for Chelsea's, and vote sideways for the third one I was going to mention, which is Chuckas, which were actually invented... Um, I believe World War II, I'm pretty sure it was World War II, for British troops in North Africa. And they were loosely based on the footwear worn by native folks there because they allowed sand to um, drain out of them and slip off of them, so it made walking easier. Okay. And that's why they have that very smooth, rounded feel to them and very few right. pieces of leather um, because they're designed to just let the, the sand go away. And I think those are okay for a casual look. I think chukkas are fine for uh, like casual day wear maybe not smart day wear. Yeah, I, I don't like the chuckas quite as much because they're, you know, it's less pieces of leather, less embellishments, you know, yeah. for the sand issue. Yeah. However, it's therefore plainer. Now, in Highland wear, typically simpler, plainer is better. In Usually. the in in footwear, that's where I kind of break from that and I want some broguing, I want a little bit of detail, I want something going on in the shoe. So like a, a Balmoral shoe or a wingtip or something like that, I prefer to something simple and plain in footwear. I want something with a little more definition to the shape. Like I want a, a good defined toe, and chukkas are a little bit blobby 
looking to my eye, I think is, is what it comes down to. They look a little bit doop, 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 to me. Blobby. Blobby and doop, 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 doop. Got doop, 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 doop. Oh, I'm sneaking up on the Nazis. Doop, doop. <laughs> I just cracked Mac up. <laughs> Here we come, Mr. Nazi. <laughs> uh, yeah. Indeed. So so they're very good boots, but for a kilt, I would go with the Victorian walking boots. Yeah. The Balmorals. Yeah. Yeah. Some it's, stuff. It's good stuff. Some some regular regular clothes, Saxon wear, you know, stuff you can incorporate successfully with a kilt. Other stuff, less so. It's a matter of just finding out which ones work and which ones don't, and which mm -hmm. ones happen to pair well, and which ones are meh. Maybe leave that for a pair of jeans. And no sandals. Never. Ever. Never sandals. Shot in That's the face. Good. Nope. I was floored to find out how old Chelsea boots are as a design. That was that was amazing yeah. to me. Yeah. I always thought they were a very modern thing, but... Yeah, especially as as, as oh, Mac already knew. <laughs> he's been holding out. He's like, yeah, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows Who that. doesn't everybody know? Knows. Like, of course, Chelsea boots are that old. How do you not know this kind of stuff? Sorry, Mac. <laughs> you want to sit here, Mac? I'm gonna give the show over to Mac. <laughs> yeah, indeed. That would be funny. Wouldn't that be funny if one of us sat on the computer one time? On the computer? Well, I mean, <laughs> no, like, like at the controls. <laughs> like a letter, letters coming across the screen. So literal. Um, <laughs> No, that'd be that'd be weird. It would. Could be yeah. fun though. We do that for April. April Fools. Or no, April Fools. We gotta wear pants. We gotta do something. Or, or just like we're just like behind the chair, like Kilroy, just nose <laughs> out from behind the chair. So I want puppets. Yeah. I want I want Muppet versions of us. Oh, mm -hmm. That's gonna cost a lot of money. God damn well, it. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. <sighs> we know crafty people. It's true. If you can make Muppets, let me know. <laughs> I want a Muppet of him. Yes. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We try to touch on every aspect of Highland, Gaelic, Celtic culture that we can, but if we've missed your question, let us know in the comments. If you have a question that you want us to answer on the show, we would be happy not necessarily happy, because I don't know what the question you're going to ask is, but ask it anyway in the comments. Thanks, guys.